What's going on everybody? Hopefully your weekend's going pretty well out there. I just got back yesterday from Pennsylvania. Had to go down for a little bit to recover from driving there and back with a little bit of sleep. But back at it now. So again, tonight myself and CVC will be live for overtime after the football game. If it starts to turn into a blowout, we'll try to come on a little bit earlier. Um, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it with overtime. Then we'll do it again on Friday night. Then the following week's going to be the fixed sale um, auction on the channel on Saturday night. Just to give you guys a quick update and a schedule on all that. But, some good news, good news. If you guys recall back, we had the uh, individual who was scammed by somebody out there. And he took him to court. I mean, he contacted Sheriff's Department and all this stuff. And it went through. And they did the arraignment. And they did, did the sentencing. And the outcome to it, from what I read from him on a post, was that he got restitution, which is he got his money back for the item. Um, I doubt he'll ever see the item again that's in question and all that. There was a little bit more to it. But the good thing is he got his money back. I guess he got paid by money orders or, or I think it said money order or cashier's check. I'm pretty sure about money order. So the system did work. This time in the favor of uh, getting uh, somebody out there who's scamming sports cards. And it's good news. It's good news to see that somebody actually went through with the whole thing. The system itself did uh, come forward into a favorable action to where the guy had to pay restitution. Now, I don't know if there was anything else attached to it. Other than, you know, the basic it's going to be on his, you know... Uh, permanent record but there was nothing about like jail time or community service or you know probation nothing like that uh like i said the only thing he came up with was what he said that he had he got paid restitution i believe it was a couple different money orders that had to be paid to him i'm sure if you look up the court case number there in nebraska you'll probably find more on to it but i wanted to give an update on to it because we normally don't get to see stuff like this to where it goes the whole way through um, I mean, this year alone, we've seen a lot more people get arrested for stealing cards and everything else out there from shows. Um, you guys seen the one that happened down in Florida with the guy from the Cleveland National? I think, yeah, I think it was Cleveland a couple years ago. If it wasn't Cleveland, it was Chicago, one of the two. Pretty sure it was Cleveland, though. To where he got off on all of his charges uh, with the so-called fake autographs and all that so that was kind of disappointing when we seen that unless you know like somebody said he worked some kind of deal out and gave a whole bunch of people up and you know they're like hey we'll wash you if you give us all these people i don't know it, it, we don't know the, what the real story is behind it but somebody made that point and i was like you know that i could see that happening out there but other than that Hopefully get to see you guys live on Overtime tonight. Videos will be back starting uh, tomorrow. Uh, a little bit more in length with different things that I've seen going on. I'm going to do one about block packs. Um, it, it'll be a little bit of a longer video to try to explain because I'm not like a huge person in cryptocurrency and how they're doing it with tokens and a RAS. It's kind of like NFT, but if you win, you get you can either keep it as an NFT in their vault or you can get the physical card. Uh, just something a lot of people I know have been doing and I got into it this time. It's kind of, kind of exciting in a way. Kind, kind of nerve-wracking too, I'm not going to lie. But I want to talk a little bit about that. I also got some uh, different product in I want to show you guys as well too and give my opinion on to it. Um, but that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully I'll get to see you guys on overtime tonight. Other, if I don't have a good, safe week next week, if you're off tomorrow because of the federal holiday, you still got another day of rest. But that is it, and I will catch anybody who can make it tonight live. See y'all later.